don't give up. It might be that your dream job isn't quite there yet or your, your dream kind of career isn't, isn't progressing as you want it to, but don't let, don't let that stop you enjoying yourself um, and doing what you want to do. Hi, I'm Emily. Um, I work as a digital transformation analyst at Infrared. Um, that essentially means that I um, help develop processes that are currently paper-based and move them onto a digital platform. Um, so this basically involves working across our organization to make sure that um, we develop good processes, we put in good processes, and we maintain good processes. So um, as part of my role, I look after three or four of our platforms. I work across the business, it involves a lot of project management, a lot of um, communication. Um, and then outside of work, um, I also volunteer for Girl Guiding. So they, they kind of they sit really closely together. There's a lot of project management in both roles. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I do. It was tough when I first started out. I'd gone from working in a team that was kind of 50-50, 50-50 split, to working in a team full of boys. Um, and yeah, sometimes they have kind of their in-jokes and sometimes they're not always appropriate. Yeah. Um, and you kind of just have to be quite firm and just be just like, um, no, definitely not. Um, but actually it works quite well. Um, it, it helps that I was quite geeky at the time. I was quite interested in some of the stuff that they were interested in um, and it just made me appreciate more kind of the differences between how men and women approach things. Um, like they might look at it kind of in a specific way but um, you know as women we tend to look at things slightly differently or approach it from a different perspective and actually bringing that into the team really helps. Um, the boys were also quite respectful which helps. Um, and yeah, we just we just ended up working really well together. I think it helped that I'd already had a prior relationship with them um, in working with them. So yeah, I think that, that probably helped too. I'm really passionate about working in small organisations. I don't like working for large multinational corporations. I've tried it once and I, I, I really didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy feeling like I was a very small cog in a very big machine. Um, so in terms of kind of how that's, I've always, when I've done job seeking or looking for jobs, I've always kind of focused my attention at the smaller companies. So generally no larger than 250 employees. And for me, that's where I felt my fit was. I work better in smaller organizations. It doesn't mean that that's for everyone. Um, and that's definitely really influenced my kind of how I've progressed in my career. I may not have had as many opportunities as some of my friends or, or my peers, but I've definitely kind of found what I enjoy. Um, and I, I learned very quickly on, uh, very early on, that I really enjoyed working with people and I it didn't enjoy working in just one team. I liked to work across a cross section of the business um, and I liked to learn new things. So um, quite often I'll just be thrown something and I'll be just like, oh yeah, I'll pick that up and I'll, I'll learn it. Um, so for me, in terms of small organization and being able to learn new skills all the time and um, you never stop learning but yeah for me those are the two primary things a role that i can make my own and a small organization um, works best for me oh being 17 that takes me back um i was really shy and quiet at 17 um i wouldn't say boo to a goose um, I was really insecure in my skills. I'd failed my maths GCSE five times. I still don't have a maths GCSE. Um, I got five Ds. I'd like to say that's enough points for an A star, but that's not quite how everyone else looks at it. Um, so yeah, I was I was super, super shy, super quiet. Wouldn't say boo to a goose. I wanted to be a teacher. Um, but obviously, because I didn't get my maths GCSEs, that was kind of taken off the table as an option. So it kind of meant that at 17, I was like, okay, I can't be what I want to be, what else is there out there? Um, so I went to university and I did a history degree, um, which was great because it gives you analytical skills, it gives you thinking skills, and it, it gives you a really broad base as a, as a degree. Um, and I think that mainly my motivation came from like my family, from my dad and from myself. I always wanted to be able to, to do better. Um, I was brought up in an environment where you had to do better. You know, you always had to make, make sure you did your best. Oh, 
well, it depends how young you want to go. Um, so I think I started off wanting to be a nurse and then realised I didn't like wobbly teeth or, or, or people's blood very much. I'm a bit better now, but wobbly teeth and blood were definitely not a thing. Um, then I wanted to be a teacher for quite some time. Um, then I wanted to work in a library or be an archivist um, to use my history degree. Um, then I wanted to be a museum creator. Um, I don't think you ever quite get your dream, your dream role, but you can definitely enjoy massive aspects of your role. Um, so yeah, I think at the moment I've definitely got my dream job. I do what I love. Um, I really love the organisation I work for. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for your dream role, um, you might not always get it, but you'll find aspects of your role that you love. Don't compare yourself to other people. Um, don't worry too much. Um, I, I graduated in 2008. It was really stressful. All of my friends that, who had graduate jobs or were going into like apprenticeship schemes and stuff like that, um, they all fell through. Um, you know, so most of us kind of started right at the very bottom um, of, our, of our job searches and our job roles. And sometimes that can feel really demoralizing. Um, particularly when you work really hard at university and you know you've tried your best um, but I would just say just don't ever give up um, there's loads and loads of free courses and free training available online um, you know if you've got friends or a mentor you know reach out to them ask them for help in interviews ask them to check over your CV ask them to read over your job application form you know utilize any contacts that you might have it might be that you know your aunt knows someone who knows someone who knows someone, you know, just make sure that you reach out and you ask for help, you know, don't get yourself into a situation where you feel like you're drowning um, and you don't feel that you can ask for help. Um, I wish I'd asked for help earlier when I left university. Um, I spent, you know, 14, 15 weeks being unemployed and it was the most miserable time of my life. Um, and I really wish that I'd actually got the help then that I got a bit later on. Um, but yeah, just don't give up. It might be that your dream job isn't quite there yet or your, your dream kind of career isn't, isn't progressing as you want it to, but don't let, don't let that stop you enjoying yourself um, and doing what you want to do.